What's up guys, the January Patreon rewards are now available. Mana Drain, Edgar Markov, and Korvold Fae Cursed King are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description. Guys, welcome to our very first box opening of Theros Beyond Death. This set is incredible. Super, super excited to be opening it here. Uh, before we jump in, this is, of course, sponsored by our fantastic friends over at Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. They are a local card store here in Rock Hill, South Carolina, where we are located. Uh, they are an absolute fantastic, great group of people. Uh, absolutely love working with them. They've been helping support us pretty much since the beginning. Uh, and they, they've they remained a, a fantastic partner along the way, so cannot thank them enough. Uh, hopefully, if you guys are in the area, you'll pre-release there this weekend, uh, and good luck to you all on pre-release. Uh, as we go through this, I kind of just want to talk about the set a little bit. Uh, this is a really interesting one. Uh, the first Theros set uh, was a really good idea, really good theme, uh, and continues to be one of my favorite places and or, or my, my favorite planes in terms of the, the Greek mythology theme. I think that's really a sweet thing to do. Uh, however, standard season, we're just going to dump out all the backs, uh, standard season did not necessarily go super well. We had a lot of, uh, well, a lot of the same decks over and over, to put it very lightly. Uh, it was not exactly a healthy uh, environment. Uh, Esper Control was really, really popular. Uh, and we did have a lot of powerful cards in that deck. So uh, my hope here is that we'll see a much more exciting standard season uh, over the course of, of uh, Theros Beyond Death. I have no idea what the, I guess I should say, preferred deck archetypes are going to be. Uh, we do have a lot of enchantment support, as we all expected. Uh, no surprise there. Look at that. A beautiful, beautiful Daxos. Absolutely love these artwork pieces. Uh, I think they're really fantastic. We're just going to, I know it's a little disorganized, but we're going to set it over there for now. Uh, absolutely love those uh, kind of premium artwork pieces. Uh, really, really beautiful cards. Seriously stunning. Um, but, uh, and of course, I didn't mention, but uh, the beautiful new lands. Uh, yes, they do look like Pokemon energies. No, I'm not going to talk about it any more than that. Uh, but uh, going through this set, there's a lot of really, really awesome cards and a lot of really awesome artwork. Uh, artwork, as you guys know, is one of my favorite things to look at. Uh, Foil Sun, Mare, Sun Main Pegasus, excuse me. Uh, in Perforce's intervention. Uh, lots of beautiful artwork. Uh, I always love, and you can see it on just so many different cards here, but any of the enchantment creatures uh, have the beautiful star outlined, uh, not only here, but then in the artwork as well. Uh, and it's absolutely stunning. I love that. It just adds such cool depth to every single card that has it. Uh, and it's really awesome. So, uh, of course, uh, some specific cards that I would like to talk about. Uh, the new gods. So the the we'll talk about the mono colored gods first. Um, really interesting. Not my favorite to be honest. In comparison to the old ones, uh, I I'd, I'd prefer the old ones. However, uh, as pretty much everybody knows, Heliod is a infinite combo for the win with a number of different cards. Uh, and so I am absolutely positive we're going to be seeing some stuff there. Uh, we did see in the le the recent uh, band announcement, people were very concerned, obviously, about that combo. They did address it uh, just by stating they are watching the format. Ooh, a beautiful foil Storm Herald. Absolutely love that. That's awesome. And a bronze hide line. Uh, they are uh, going to keep a keep a watchful eye over that combo and see how it affects Pioneer. Uh, that tends, to, uh, from my understanding, that's the place where it is most likely to really become a dominant deck. Uh, and so I'm interested to see if it actually does take over. Uh, it is powerful. It's a great combo. So we'll see if it actually happens. Uh, as far as other cards in the set that I'm really, really excited about, uh, Ashiok, of course. Uh, absolutely love Ashiok. Uh, ooh, a Nyx Lotus. Uh, beautiful, beautiful card. Um, absolutely love Ashiok. It's the card that... Uh, in terms of like coolness level on Planeswalkers, I feel like it's really up there, which I really like. Uh, it's just such an awesome card. Uh, Furious Rise is our foil, and we have a pro uh, special art, I guess you could say, Thassa Deep Dwelling. Absolutely love that. Uh, such a beautiful card, and it is our mythic so far. That's our first mythic. Interesting. Um, so 
absolutely though uh i'm interested to see how this stuff uh kind of plays out um let's see Ooh, ooh, man we're getting tons of these uh renata absolutely love it um oops there we go uh as far as um so uh, as far as multicolor cards actually there's a few that i wanted to, to bring out other than ashiok of course uh, the other new Planeswalker, cannot remember his name, uh, not super exciting to me, obviously, since I can't remember his name, but, uh, still a pretty cool card. Uh, I'm interested to see if the, uh, ooh, Idyllic Tutor and a Tamaret. Uh, I'm interested to see if the Enchantment deck, uh, which seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it definitely seems to me to be focused on the Bant colors, which would make a lot of sense. Uh, I'm interested to see if that really takes off. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, foil. Uh, and then an Erebos, black-hearted. Absolutely beautiful. Second Mythic. Uh, so I'm interested to see if that deck really takes off. Uh, Constellation is a super sweet mechanic, uh, and there's a lot of it in this set. So I'm, I, I just kind of want to see if that deck takes off. I feel like we had, um, if I remember correctly, in, in the OG Theros days, uh, we had some really cool decks focused around Constellation and just enchantments in general. Um, but truly the, the devotion decks and the, uh, the, um, ooh, foil temple of enlightenment, stunning and a tectonic giant, uh, the, the, uh, control decks really took over as well. So I'm interested to see how that plays out. We of course do have devotion back, so there is a possibility that's going to be taking over once again. Wow. Three for three on mythics for gods, Heliod Sunground, absolutely stunning. Uh, great box so far. I kind of, so the cards I'm actually most excited about are the, um, the escape multicolor titans or whatever they are. I don't know. Ooh, beautiful foil planes. Look at this guys. This box is just treating me right. Temple of deceit. Love it. Um, so those are the cards that I'm really, really excited about. Specifically the Simic Titan, uh, is really sweet. Uh, the black red or Rakdos Titan, uh, or giant, however you want to call it is also really, really cool in terms of value. Um, it just seems like such a huge beating to, to hit that card. Like, it just seems like so bad for the opponent if you can get that out. So, uh, absolutely love it. We'll see, of course, how it, uh, how it fares. Uh, this is actually one of the cards I wanted to talk about. So, Hound of Athreos. Uh, really interesting card solely because um, it shuts down so many things. So, the obvious things. Uh, in standard, it shuts down Escape which is huge. Uh, Escape is a really interesting mechanic, one that I'm actually very excited about. Uh, I think it's a very good one. It's sort of like Delve, uh, except in this case, uh, they kind of get a bit of a buff usually off of the Escape mechanic. Uh, normally, uh, off of Delve, you don't necessarily get that, so uh, it is actually really cool to see that, but uh, it's sort of like powering up uh, Delve a little bit, but uh, the, the Hound does shut that down, uh, it also, in Eternal formats, it shuts down, like, reanimator strategies and things like that. Temple of Malice, beautiful. Uh, gotta love pulling a temple, you can't feel too bad about that. Um, so it shuts down a lot of strategies, which is really interesting. Just a lot of graveyard creature strategies are shut down by that. Uh, Foil Tamaret. And a Temple of Enlightenment. Lovely. Uh, I'm gonna push some of those to the side just so we can... We got big stack there in comparison to the rest of them so uh but yeah so lots of really really cool stuff unknown shores storms wrath uh field of ruin return absolutely fantastic i'm interested of course to hear what your opinions are on uh the upcoming standard environment uh and just the upcoming pre-release hopefully you guys are going to be able to go I honestly don't think I will be able to. Um, I, I hate to say that because I feel like I say that every time and I hate saying it. Uh, unfortunately, um, I've got uh, some work stuff going on and things like that that are having to take precedence, which is never fun. Uh, but I do uh, really want to hear your stories. So please, please, after you pre-release, whoever is, uh, make sure that you uh, leave a comment. Let us know. Ooh. Foil Kiora Best the Sea God. This card is ridiculous. Uh, foil Mythic. Very, very sweet and absolutely beautiful. Can't be too unhappy about that. Um, so, yes, please share your stories. <clears throat> uh, one last thing as well, as we are, we're down to our final five, six packs. Uh, we do, of course, have our Theros giveaway going on right now. So, uh, if you are enter entering... 
interested, wow, uh, if you are interested in entering our giveaway, you can win a free uh, Theros Beyond Death bundle. Um, all you have to do, uh, enter by subscribing to our YouTube channel, of course, and commenting. It can be on any video, does not have to be this one or any other one. Uh, can be any video that you would like. Just comment on there with hashtag Theros giveaway. Uh, if you do that, we will respond to your comment before we pick the winners, uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, if you get a little thanks for entering or a little message along with it, uh, that is your confirmation. Uh, and so you will get that and you will be entered to win that bundle. Uh, the bundle will be given away on Monday, I think the 27th, I want to say. Sounds right. Uh, and so uh, please make sure to enter. We really do appreciate the support. You guys are always fantastic with our giveaways. So uh, we are looking forward to a positive one again this time. Last two packs here. I would love to get like one more mythic. Don't know if that's going to happen, but it would be lovely. Heliod's intervention. Not super exciting if I'm honest. Last pack, guys. Here we go. Hopefully it is something awesome. If I can get it open. There we go. All right, there we go. All right, I'm super happy. Nylia, keen-eyed, absolutely fantastic. We got a lot of gods in this pack, which is pretty awesome. Uh, four out of five of the gods, uh, of the mono gods, plus a foil Kiora best the sea god. Absolutely fantastic box. Cannot be unhappy about that. A number of the, uh, of the temples, uh, which I'm super excited about as well, and then some beautiful, beautiful star art, as I like to call them. Uh, but some really, really nice rares. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, of course, to Grand Slam for uh, supplying us with this box. We could not do it without you guys, so thank you seriously so much. Uh, but I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this box opening. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Do not forget to enter our giveaway, but with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next box opening video.